Good morning, everyone. Hope you all are doing well. First official ride of uh, 2023. Excited, uh, cleaned the bike yesterday, and uh, yeah, today is the day to go on uh, service the bike and uh, yeah, take it from there. I typically service at the start of the season, so uh, today is the first day. Let's give it a quick start and uh, see how it goes. Oh, got a warning there. Remote battery is almost at the end, so probably the next video will be on <laughs> changing the remote battery. All right, start it now. Good start. Ah, that's what I love about this beast. Starts on the first push as soon as you go but keep in mind I have been uh, putting putting the battery on a battery tender so never had an issue there we'll uh, wait for a few minutes let the engine warm up a little bit and then we'll head out here's a uh, junior he's go coming with me today it's a uh, Easter Monday and uh, everything is closed so He's tagging along with me for a quick service. You want to sit? Riding after uh, six months is like uh, recapping, you know, the whole how to ride again. Uh, that's what uh, it kind of does to you. Even though you've been riding for years, but uh, I guess you just have to recall safety first, check everything, was checking my documents today morning, insurance, everything to make sure, uh, license plate registration, that it's renewed. I got a tire pressure warning as well. I guess that would be the rear one. Yep, it is the rear one. It's showing me 36 PSI. I'm not surprised because I did check the tire pressure yesterday, but just for the front. I couldn't access the rear one and I was a bit lazy so I said you know what since the dealership is just about five kilometers away from my home when I take it uh, tomorrow or which is today now I should be able to you know have them uh, check it for me and probably fill the tire up again but uh, yeah beautiful sunny morning I might guess it's showing me 36 psi on the rear so I'm about five or six psi down from what's needed and that was the same uh, case with the front when I filled up yesterday I was about six psi uh, from the normal you know required one so probably they should be able to fill it up not really concerned about it hopefully it's not a flat but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not one but Hope you all are ready for the riding season and uh, excited about it. Similar to I am. Have some good uh, riding plans in the pipeline. Uh, I would love to discuss, but I would like to keep that a bit, a little bit of secret. So as and when those riding plans come along, you know, the excitement builds up for all of you. But yeah, starting next month, we have some big trips uh, going down south in US. Look at the beautiful escarpment view right in front of me over there. It looks brand right now, like yellowish. Probably in a month's time, it will start turning green. Can't wait to uh, ride there. This is the beautiful think about uh, Halton region that we have some beautiful roads to ride on to uh, just five minutes away from home so even if you're not going hundreds of kilometers away you can definitely just go five minutes away and enjoy a beautiful ride whoa you're here at the dealer that wasn't far looks like they have a lot of nice bikes on display I can see it from outside I'll give you all a tour once I drop the bike off at the service center. We'll let the car pass and then it's us next. Alrighty. Yay. 
This is the same dealership where I picked up my Goldwing three years back. So, uh, good memories, great dealership. They have another Goldwing parked here. And they're saying this is motorcycle parking only. Wow. Another Rebel as well. Alrighty. Let's go in. Here are all the beautiful bikes in the showroom. You can see that's a monkey. Nice yellow bright one. That's a chrome. This is a ruckus. Looks nice. And some other lights here. We've got that's the 500 X. Nice rebels. That's a six fifty R CBR. Some dirt bikes. Another Grom in red color, beautiful bike here, CBR 500R. So we are all done here. This was a 15,400 kilometer service and I did that in about a little less than three years and I paid 242 Canadian dollars. That must be about a 160, 180 USD. And that 15,500 kilometers is about 9,600 miles. So that's how much I've done. They've changed the oil filter and they've changed the filter for the DCT as well. Along with other things, uh, labor is about $126. I could have saved that if I did that at home, but I don't have the equipment. So overall, a good experience. It's all said and done. We are on our way now. So let's put this in. That's a good thing about the trunk. And uh, let's head back home. Tires look good. So they said I should be fine for my upcoming trip, which is a great sign. Still have the notification here for my um, key fob battery. That is something I can definitely look into changing. Okay, what do I do next? Uh, yeah, so I have a typical habit. Okay, let's pull the brake here so the bike doesn't roll back. And I have a habit typically, I'll go up in the trip meter here and then go here. So 15,491 kilometers, I'll go back and then B. And I try to reset it. So, all right, so the B trip meter has been reset to zero. I typically keep the trip B1 to monitor how many kilometers I've done uh, since the last service, you know, the oil change, filter change and stuff. So just to give a, you know, me a bit of idea, but all right, let's uh, go. Let's give it a good start. Yeah, B has started. Let's go. All right, buddy. You're all good. Whoa. Excited. Beautiful weather. It's 21 degrees centigrade. All right. Lower the handbrake. We're good on that. We're good to roll. And enjoy a nice ride back home. The first thing I need to do is change the uh, key fob battery. So that's on my mind and uh, next to do. 
how long does your uh, key fob battery last let me know in the comments below when was the first time you changed your key fob battery on a on one of the new gold wings I'll let you know when I make the next video that how long has this been since I changed my last battery I'll keep all that information for the next one but feel free to let me know do you change it annually like you know part of your uh, spring riding when you're riding back again do you change it just to be safe do you carry one in your trunk I typically do carry one but I haven't I didn't carry today but typically yeah I will always have not just one about three or four extra batteries in my trunk uh, just in case I need it you never know you never know one fails the other so it's better to be safe than sorry but uh, today I didn't carry but not too far like I said five minutes for to home and I shouldn't have any issues that was a good trip hope you enjoyed uh, looking at all the inventory motorcycles they have at this dealership uh, the one that really makes me uh, want to think about more is the rebel rebel 1100 very nice bike uh, I just love that bike yeah very nice and that is one of the bikes uh, if I was ever looking into getting one I would definitely look into that bike beautiful bike another one uh, I've always loved is the Africa twin especially the tricolor the white red and blue ones with the golden uh, touches on it oh wow you can't beat that uh, that color I wish they brought uh, similar colors in the gold wing so uh, hopefully hopefully sometime mother Honda will listen to and you know bring one of those uh, colors rather than bringing the dark colors they always do black gray they need to get out life is colorful we need some more good colors don't you all agree with me I'm sure you do thank you for staying along I hope you enjoyed this first uh, moto vlog along with a little bit of uh, service history of uh, my bike that you've been seeing on the channel for the last uh, three years thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you're new to the channel so you don't miss on any future upcoming videos. Till next time, ride safe, take care and I'll see you all in the next one.